don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when videos drop. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited when I see news stories pop up on my news feed on peacocks about peacocks. But this time I'm not so happy. You see, back in 2021, in Salt Lake City at their zoo in Utah, USA, a poor two-year-old child was allegedly injured by a peacock who either jumped up and knocked the child over and they got injured. And now there's a lawsuit. I don't know anything other than what I read on the internet and saw videos on the internet, but I know peacocks. So let me tell you what I think might have happened since I've been around these birds for 40 years. You see, peacocks do not chase after people, especially in zoos, unless they think they're going to get some kind of food. Our peacocks chase after us when they see us and want mealworms. We give them mealworms and then that's it. At the zoo, they're constantly looking to get fed. Perhaps sometimes parents go to the zoo with maybe a one-year-old to a ten-year-old and they see the peacocks and want to get a picture and the kid darts out toward the peacock and all of a sudden the peacock jumps and knocks over the child and that would be a big problem. So parents, if you go to the zoo and you see peacocks or any other animals that run at large, hold your child's hand. When our five-year-old and ten-year-old nieces come to our property when they were children, I always held their hand, whether they were walking to the barn or walking in the pen with me. Animals are unpredictable. Just because they look calm and tame, that doesn't mean they're always going to be calm and tame. So hold your child's hand if there's animals. Do not let your child chase after a peacock, especially to grab the tail feathers and do not feed the birds. Now zoos, if you don't want to get sued, maybe perhaps you should have your peacocks in a, an enclosed area to where people can observe them displaying and make it so that people can get their cameras through and get that beautiful coveted picture of them and the peacock. They're not dangerous, but this is not the first time we've heard of this. Back many years ago, back in Phoenix, Arizona, there was a problem I heard. Uh, I didn't get as much detail on that as I have on this. In any case, you have to watch your children when you go to the zoo. You can't let the child out of your hand when they're looking at the peacocks. That's this story. Now the zoo no longer will have peacocks and that's really sad. We hope other zoos take a lesson from this and learn it from Mr. Peacock. Put them in an exhibit where they can't cause any harm to people and then people can't feed them and the birds can't jump out of rightfulness when the child chases after them and no one will get hurt and everybody will live happily ever after. So that's the story about kids, peacocks, and zoos. Thanks for viewing. Order the Wacky World of Peafowl books at peafowl.com.